And in the interest of time, we're going to move on to our next speaker very, very quickly. We have her here all the way from Iceland. Her name is Torbjörg Helga. And she has an, an online platform to help people in need. Uh, she's going to talk a little bit more about that. And it is called Kara, and this is Torbjörg. Hello, Ambassador Arpa. Thank you for having me here. Uh, it's a great honor and a great organization that is actually moving people towards each other. I really enjoy hearing stories from, from what you're doing here. Um, yesterday, I, I heard the saying that I hadn't heard before. I, I've heard a lot of them, but um, it was something in the way of saying, um, Value is not something you own, but something you give. And I thought it was so special for this occasion. And I also think it's very special for women, because I think women have been the change makers for health and education since the beginning of civilization. They've been the one who given their time and their value towards building something. And it's time, like we've all been saying here today, to have women at the front and center be, to be the change makers. Um, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about uh, Kara. So Kara was born from me being a politician. I was a politician. It was not nice. It was, it was, it was not nice. Um, it really destroys people and families being in politics. Um, but what I got from it was a lot of experience and I could talk to people everywhere. And what I, what I saw was that we were in the light of industrialized schooling, always helping people and people with problems, yeah? Um, but we sort of lost sight of what we're actually doing. So we're putting a lot of money to help kids and grown-ups that have problems in our societies, in our developed societies. Um, but nobody knows actually if somebody's getting the help that we're paying for. And if you have somebody in your family that needs help, autistic children or anything, you know that there's like a system that blocks the access to help. So that's why we started, and I have a team member here who actually was lived in uh, South Africa. Um, we are building a platform that everybody can use to access their own special help. So crossing borders, all the NGOs in the world that are doing amazing things can use a simple online platform to access help, to keep, deliver help. And that's where we started, to deliver help to, to children all over Iceland, 44 schools, and the therapists all sit in the city or wherever they want to be. And it's amazing, it has uh, multiple effects. And it is, is the technological revolution that we're going into. And this is what I wanted to address a little bit. So we all have heard the fourth industrial revolutions, right? But a lot of people in Iceland are saying to me, oh, don't jump around with that buzzword. But this is huge. This is going to change our jobs and our future and our kids' futures. Um, so this is something that women have to address. And this is a change that affects women's jobs. So this is one of the two goals that we have inside CARA that are actually women related. Number one, um, women are 70% of the health professionals, even more. Um, in Nordics, it's almost up to 80%. There are also only 30% uh, of them are the leaders in the health professionals. And it's more the inequality in this respect is more in the um, educational sector. So the women are the workers in these big, big systems. And we are seeing technology change this. Not to the good, but to the bad. The men are taking their stand in the health and the education with technology, and they're hiring their women to serve. And this is what I want. I want the women to be the change makers in technology. I want them to rise up, not wait for the change to come. Stand up and make their own companies 
to deliver help or, or education or whatever, but this, these two are my fields. The second goal inside CARA is to help the caretakers. And I know many, many of you have been caretakers, that's why you're here. Um, almost 95% of caretakers of those are older and younger are women. And these women do not work full-time jobs or seek leadership positions because they have to give time to these people that they love. So that's one of the other ideas about CARA, is to try to help them help their loved ones. So reach better help, reach assistant, reach NGOs and support personnel without losing their jobs or lessening their jobs and stay on task. So this is our little story. Um, we would love to talk to you if you have any ideas about how they could help, we could help. And thank you again. Please um, be the change makers. Thank you. Okay.